Hello, welcome to the Alpanist, or Alpianist. Uh, someone who climbs... Oh my gosh, those birds though. Someone who climbs mountains. This is a very meditative game, they say. It's like one of those Zen games where you just walk around, you can just walk through the environment. But eventually I'm going to have to climb a mountain, which is right here. That was actually quite fast. Press the LT and R triggers to alternately to climb. Oh, that's pretty easy then. There we go. Okay, not bad. The gorge at the bottom of the screen indicates your stamina. This seems pretty easy. Step by step. You know, I've played Grow Home. I'm basically a pro at this. Okay. You know, not many games focus on uh, climbing, like climbing mountains. Instead, there's parkour. Games like uh, Assassin's Creed, Shadow of Mordor, and things. I love how the camera zooms out a bit like that. Look at that skybox and that sun. That looks amazing. Yeah, so... Oh. What's... Uh, a photo. Do you remember our first meeting? I accompanied your class for a small excursion. I noticed you immediately as you were always asking too many questions. The otter means the non-conformism, conformism, the individuality. What's going on? Apparently there's some kind of traumatic event which this person is just trying to get over. So she's just walking out into the wilderness, she's going on a hike. But really, she's climbing, and you should never really climb, you know, mountains like this by yourself. Because you never know what could happen. You could climb on a loose rock. Press the X button while moving to run. Why would I want to run? Yeah, she shouldn't be by herself. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the animation is a bit weird. Hold down the left stick while climbing to go down. Oh! Oh. I'll just edit that out. No one saw that. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so you can't die in this game, I guess. I can just walk across this. Yeah, it's a very simple game. There is no failure state, it seems. But really, you'd want to... <laughs> the jumping animation. Huh! Yeah. And you don't get swept down shore like <laughs> Lara Croft <laughs> in Tomb Raider or something. But that would have been kind of funny, you know, just put an, an overly complex way to die suddenly. This is relaxing. I can see why they say it's a bit of... It's meditative and contemplative. And I guess contemplative by... They put in their own story and they kind of want you to experience it, whatever that story is. Looks like I'm going into an abandoned mine shaft now. Maybe. The music has stopped. Press left on the d-pad to light a flare. Oh, okay. No sound effects for it. It's just a... Just a flare. I can't push the mic or anything. You know, I could run through this game and just go crazy. But that kind of ruins the whole purpose of this game. You know, that's why I like doing this with this weekly indie, indie series. I like finding creative games like this. Move the right stick in a direction to throw the flare. Uh, okay, let's get another one. Okay, so how do I get down from here? Oi. Oi. Hmm. No, no, no. God damn. Okay, so I can't really work out the controls that well. <laughs> oh, this jumping. Hang on. Huh! Oh, there is a health bar. That's my stamina. Okay. That's fine then. Press the B button to use a climbing nut and restore your stamina. Righto. Oh, nice. <laughs> cool. Okay. Let's climb some more. You know, this is relaxing. And this is just a concept at the moment. It's just the, the beta download. I think I saw somewhere that it was a concept. You'll be able to see if you click on the download link, it'll just send you to the site where I got this from. I like this though. I like climbing games, even though I don't really like heights. I'm not a 
you know, I'm not scared of heights. But, yeah, it's not really something a lot of games really focus on, I guess. And they, I think they really should be. You know, it, that's exploration. A lot of people like exploring games. That's what I like making this bloody channel about, you know, exploring. And I know the channel's been a lot about... Uh, well, not really about comedy lately. It's had a lot of Dark Souls highlights, as I'm still going through that series. I'm nearly done with it, though. But I love this background. That looks realistic. Doesn't look drawn. At least the the mountains. Could be wrong, though. There's some really talented people out there, you know. So this is a walking simulator. And a, well, not, not really a climbing simulator, but you know what I mean about when I say walking climbing simulator. It's really all you do. Like this isn't. I no, I I, guess, I would probably call this a platformer, because a walking simulator is usually three D, and I don't think that should, you know, it should only be three D. Oh God, no! Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> what am I panicking for? That's a nice water reflection as well. What is this? It's like, yeah, this is just two D, but a nice foreground. Also a really nice background. I'm not going to say that the, you know, the actual, what do you call it, the, the middle ground, the place which you can stand on is bad. I couldn't draw this stuff. And it's not bloody 8-bit. Press down on the d-pad to pick up a rock. Why? Move the right stick in, in the uh, direction to throw the rock. Okay, I got a rock. <laughs> I throw it right up. Can I kill myself? Damn. I guess it's not really about killing yourself. Nice. Yeah, this has interactable birds. Love it. Cool. Oh, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. Interesting. So, wait, do I have a choice of where to go now? Can I go down? Maybe I, maybe I can. I love it. You know, this this isn't trying to be. You know, like I've told you, it's not trying to make money. It's not trying to be a big platformer or something. But I would say that this is more of a platformer than uh. Oh, climb, hurry, hurry! Damn. <laughs> okay, more of a platformer than a lot of games. Whoops. Hey, what's that? Okay, looks like I could sink in there. Whoa. Some surfaces cannot be climbed, really. Oh, that's ice. I, I think that's ice. Okay, well, I, I want to go down here, so there's a few ways to actually finish this game. Press around the deep head to equip the hook. <laughs> no, you idiot. Uh, let's throw it up. Oi! Oh, no. Let's get a new one. No, I'm trying to throw this. No. No, I'm trying to throw this straight up at, at that line, that mountain line. Oh my gosh. I'm trying. Oh, whatever. So what happens if I get close to this? Like the mountain lion would defend this. Hello! Oh! So there is a way to lose this. That scared me. I gotta figure out how to do this then. Oh! Done. Alright. Thank you game. So they kind of want you to pass it, don't they? They don't want you to, you know, just turn away and say, no, nah, that's too hard. I can't, you know, I can't deal with this anymore. Oh, I could have thrown um, the rock straight up here. 
Yeah. I, I so, oh, that's nice. It's like I just buried it, at least for the winter. Leave Oma. Oh, what's this picture? Okay. Following this, you insisted to join my alpinism club. That sounds like a disease. You had a lot of goodwill and I a lot of courage. Fortunately, you quickly progressed. The owl means a change. It teaches us to transform our weak points in strong ones. Okay, I feel like I'm uncovering a story here. It's like something's going to be revealed. So the story isn't... Well, there's more to this story just than, you know, that one little part. Go through a hole in the fence. Literally, a big hole. <laughs> Human-sized one for some reason. I like this though. I like that it's 2D and it's not trying to be a bloody 3D walking simulator like so many games are. This is relaxing because you know I feel like I'm in more control of the game because I can see a lot more than a 3D view. You know I'm not scared of something coming up up at me from behind. You know I, I saw that mountain lion. I don't need to be worried about that unless you know it runs at me. I guess. I was surprised that actually killed me. Yes. And I create an avalanche. Okay. You know, I, I understand if people might say that the games I choose for these these weekly indies are boring. But really, the choices are a, a lot of. Honestly, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Imi <laughs> okay. A lot of immature um, games such as, you know, th that cluster truck thing. I, I understand cluster truck is fun to a lot of people. Same with Mount, um, Goat Simulator, but it's just not what I play games for. You know, I don't play games for a little bit of life, and I don't make videos for a little bit of life. I make videos to show a different side of games. Not that, you know, I play so different to a lot of people. Just you know, It's just a different side, and I just want to show that off. You know, I try to focus on things which can actually help people instead of just make people laugh a little. Come on. I'm liking this, so I'm really liking it. Jump! No! Okay. How do I do that? I was pressing B. The controls do feel a bit weird, don't they? Like this game could do with a lot of polish. But you can say that with a lot of indie games. And yeah, with polish... That's just like a, a funny way of saying time, you know. But this game obviously has had a lot of attention putting in, put into it, a lot of love and time. But polish is just, you know, refinement. I'm loving the background, seriously. It's not just a flat background, you know. They, they actually give a damn about the depth. And those trees, they look really good. Oh, perfect. Seems like I am trying to get to the top of this for some reason. That would be amazing if it was just like a randomly generated mountain every time you played the game. And you had to reach the top or you had to find something, I don't know. I'd, I'd play the hell out of that. I don't know, maybe the achievements to get each time you play through, like a Spelunky or something. That'd be cool. Let's run for a bit. Warm up the knees. Oh, is this what I'm looking for? This looks pretty old. No? Just a bit of variety. Okay. It seems like I'm getting really high up now. I don't see much green now. Most of it's covered in snow. So I guess I'm trying to reach the peak. Whatever's there, I don't know. Maybe some peace and quiet. Oh, that's a straight... Okay. Yeah, never go climbing like this by yourself. And this lady could easily just drop, you know, land on her head or something, and then, you know, she's dead, basically. Never really know. Especially... Don't climb in ice, what the hell? What is wrong with ice climbers? That's messed up. You can equip and throw items while hanging on a climbing nut. Okay. Why would I want to do that? 
Hello, Eagle. Oh. That was weird. Is that... Is that eagle following me? It, it's an eagle, right? It is! Oh, I piss off. Okay, where's... I'm gonna get a rock. Fuck off! Yeah! Oi! Oh, I didn't get it that time. Uh, where's my rock? What? I don't understand. <laughs> okay. So I guess I gotta climb up with this challenge here now. This is one of those games which after playing it you can just sit back and just go, Ah, that was cool. You know, I didn't sit back and do that when I'm playing Overwatch Dark Souls or something. When I beat something, I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. In this game, it's just like, yeah, that was a relaxing bit of fun. That was cool. Good for them. Good for the developers to make something like that. And not an indie game, which is just completely terrible. It's just one of those games which honestly gets me in a good mood. And I hope it does that to you as well. I, I understand this doesn't look fun. This doesn't look that exciting with its fairly simple art style and everything. But it might just be the controls and how you're constantly progressing, which is what's satisfying about it. Especially climbing up a, a sheer cliff, just straight up instead of walking to the right all the time like a lot of platformers and walking simulators or 2D ones do. The whole R2, L2, R2, L2, it's repetitive of course, but you can kind of get in motion and get behind that and it becomes comfortable. You can rely on it, you don't just, there's no random chance of slipping. I really like the Alpinist. I want to play more of it when it does come out. This level goes for around uh, 35 minutes. At least that's how long it took me. I'm going to finish it earlier just because I don't want to give away the ending. This is only a concept though. Think of it like a, an alpha. So it's not complete. I've seen gifts of this game with weather. So like just snowy weather while you're climbing a, a great big sheer cliff. So it looks like this mountain gets a lot higher. I really like this game. This is one of my favorite weekly indie games I think I've done so far. It's not the prettiest game, the hand-drawn art style is not that good, but it's better than 8-bit style, you know? You know, so many indie games do that 8-bit or 2-bit or whatever, the crazy bits. It's good being able to see what's what's meant to be what, and honestly it's hard to relax in a game such as Burn Band and stuff when you always have to try and uh, think or try and make sense of what's going on, what the hell is this? This cube in front of me, what are these set of cubes? What's it trying to represent? The Alpinist isn't trying to do that, it's just trying to be a relaxing game which you can walk and climb through. Try it out if you want. The download link is in the description, because so I think this is awesome. I want to know more mountain climbing games because I seem to like a lot of them. Let me know if you know any. Like the video if you want to see more games like this and I'll see you next time.